I just went to Bowlology and got this acai bowl and it looks so good. There's two of their different sorbets and then a chia pudding, strawberries, kiwi, granola, and mm, I cannot wait to eat this. I'm gonna try to be so careful not to spill this in the car, but it looks so good and I'm so hungry. I also wanted to say welcome back to a new vlog. I'm gonna take a bite, hold on. Mm. So today we are filming a health vlog and the reason is because I've been sick for the last week and mentally like obviously physically I haven't been feeling very good but mentally I haven't been doing very good either. There's something about just like being stuck inside for an entire week not really being able to get anything done that just kind of brings you down and I just haven't really been feeling like myself just because I've been kind of sad that I haven't been able to work on anything and I don't know I just haven't been feeling super great so today I wanted to focus on prioritizing my health both physically and mentally and just doing things that make me feel good and so this morning I did a little bit of cleaning and got my bedding in the wash so I can have like a reset and have a clean place and then I obviously treated myself to an acai bowl, getting some good food in my body and then I'm going to go to the grocery store and get a bunch of stuff that I need because I have like zero groceries and I wanted to also go for a walk today just something light because I haven't been feeling good and it's really important to slowly get back into working out after you've been sick just because you want to make sure that your body is like fully recovered and that you're 100% better I don't think I'm 100% better because I just feel like I I'm slowly getting better, but that's what I'm going to do today. I got the pitaya sorbet instead of the acai, and it is so good. I also haven't had kiwi in such a long time, but I'm obsessed with this place. They have, like, the best acai bowls here, and they also have poke bowls and other stuff, but so bomb. Got a little mini grocery haul for you guys. Not too many things. I just got more of the RX bars, two in chocolate sea salt, and then two in peanut butter chocolate. And then I picked up two of these Mighty C juice shots. I thought that these would be good since I've been sick. And then I also got an avocado and some microgreens for avocado toast. And then I'm also going to use the avocado for some turkey sandwiches. So I picked up this thing of turkey breast, a red onion, a tomato, and I probably will need to get a couple other things for the sandwiches, but I think I mostly have everything. And then I got some lemons for lemon water. And then just a ton of fruit because I'm on a fruit kick. I got blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, some bananas, and then I also got this bag of white peaches because these just sounded delish. And then I also wanted to show you that I bought these tulips, which look so pretty, so I need to put these in some water. thinking about dinner when I was at Trader Joe's I just went for like the other basic stuff that I needed so I went to Rachel Goodeats Instagram to try to find some inspo for a dinner idea and I found one of her taco night recipes it was a pistachio crusted cod and then she did it with like guac and stuff so I went to Sprouts after my walk and just picked up what I needed for that so I'll show you everything that I got. I know I've just gone to the grocery store twice, but I got these Food for Life sprouted corn tortillas, and then I got pico de gallo, guacamole, and then an avocado. This one is more ripe than the one that I had earlier. And then I just got the Alaskan wild cod, 
I also got some pistachios so I can make the crust with it. And then I got some cilantro just to top it with and some Siete grain free tortilla chips to have with the guac. This guacamole is a fresh, chunky guac. And I just want to try it out. These are also my favorite potato chips. Or potato chips, tortilla chips. They also have these in potato chips though. And mm, they're so long. I just wanted to fill you in on the cooking process so far. The pistachio crust is really easy to make. All I did was put a fourth a cup of pistachios in the blender. I blended them up, not fully, but just kind of for the most part. Added them into this bowl with a little salt, garlic powder, and chili powder. And then I also took an egg in this bowl and I just whisked it up and then I dipped the cod into the egg I made sure it was like fully covered and then put it back into the like crust that I made and I made sure that I coated it fully so now I can just saute it in a skillet for like four to five minutes on each side you just want to make sure it's like golden brown so I'm about to cook this right now currently nine o'clock and I got so tired after I got home just because I hadn't really done a lot this week and so going out and doing errands and going for a walk and all that was just kind of a lot for me today so I decided to take a bath and I was in the bath for so long probably like almost an hour and it was so relaxing to just lay in the steamy water at a candle lit and it just smells so good in the bathroom and then i took a shower after so i could wash my hair i've been taking baths lately where i like actually fully lay back and get my hair wet sometimes i'll take a bath and try to like not get my hair wet but lately i've been just like really getting into it and like fully relaxing and it's been so nice so i washed my hair which was fine i needed to wash it anyways but i'm gonna do some skincare and i'm kind of thinking about doing a mask tonight but it was so nice because i got home and my bedding was like pretty much dry so i got that on the bed i had to wash it because i'd been sick and it's just like good to wash your beddy your beddy <laughs> i cannot speak today it's good to wash your bedding frequently so I washed that, got it on the bed, and I'm going to be really happy to lay in fresh sheets. So going to put some pages on and then do a little skincare. I'm just going to leave my hair up in the towel for a little bit while I do put my mask on. My hair got my pajamas so wet. I need to wash my face first. The one thing that I need right now is coconut water. Like that just sounds so good. So I'm gonna get myself a glass after I put my mask on. And tonight I'm gonna do this luminous mask. And it says, unveil your radiance. This full spectrum CBD sheet mask is infused with aloe vera and coconut water for an instant boost of hydration and moisture replenishment. But I love these masks. I've only done a couple of them, but they feel so nice and my skin definitely needs some extra hydration right now. There's like so many layers to this mask and it's so slimy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I cannot do it with this one. No way. It's like too heavy. Oh yeah. That feels 
so good. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit now for like 20 minutes. I've mentioned this before, but having a night routine and just relaxing is so good for my mental health. It just lets me de-stress and it just puts me in a really good mood. So I always try to prioritize like my evenings and just doing things that make me feel good. Even if I don't have a lot of time, I still just try to do a couple of things. This evening, tonight, I've had like all the time in the world, <laughs> but it's just been so good. I didn't really do my morning and night routine that much when I was sick because I just like was not even feeling up for really getting out of bed or like getting off the couch. So I want to try to get back into my routine, start getting up early. I wasn't setting my alarm either because I wanted to let my body sleep as much as it needed but I am just ready to get back into my routines and my schedule setting my alarm and getting up early so I'm just like feeling really grateful that I am getting better I always have to take a knife to get this part up because I don't want to break one of my nails Good morning, everyone. I haven't vlogged since I did my face mask last night, but I'm gonna be leaving to go get some coffee and breakfast, and I had been waiting for an Aritzia package to come in the mail, and I actually got it yesterday, so I just opened it, and oh, you guys, it is so cute. I've been talking about the Divinity Romper, like literally raving about it, and I saw that they had a similar style online so I ended up ordering it and you guys it is so cute. I got the halter style and I love the color of this. This one is called the look romper and I got this in deep taupe if you can't tell I'm like very into this color right now. But I like that it's a little bit of a different style because the other one has like two straps. So this one is definitely very similar, but just the halter and they are so comfortable. These I am going to be living in over the summer just because I like that it's one outfit and you don't even have to think about matching anything with it. So that's the one thing that's great about these. They come in a ton of different colors. I want every single one, honestly, but I'll have it linked for you guys in case you want to get it. I could not recommend it enough. The quality is so good and they just look so trendy and cute. So I think I'm going to wear this one today and they also have these in like a jumpsuit version that's like full pants if you wanted that or what you could do if it's like a little bit colder where you live you could layer this with like a blazer over it or maybe like a crop zip up to dress it down a little bit more so lots of ways to style but I just think they are so cute so I'm going to wear this one today and I'm also going to go get some coffee and breakfast, which I was thinking about going to Toast Society. They actually opened a new location in Henderson. And and the only thing is they had like limited hours for that location today because they're like just opening. It's like their sneak peek and I kind of am running out of time. So I'm gonna go to just like the regular location that I've usually been going to. And yeah, I'm gonna get something to eat. They have like really good healthy food you can get there. And then obviously coffee, I need coffee. I haven't had like any coffee this entire week. So I have been like really wanting just an iced latte now that I'm like feeling good. So yeah, I just wanted to say good morning and update you on what I'm doing. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I did a little skincare, some sunscreen, and I did some like loose waves with the air wrap. I did like the bigger barrel and I like the way that it looks with my hair. Now that my hair is longer, I just like want it to look like luscious and have a lot of volume and big curls. So that's what I did for my hair today. Your girl is ready and I am feeling the fit, you guys. It is so cute and so comfortable. Just like look how flattering it is. 
But yeah, I got my jewelry on, which I always forget to put my jewelry on. Also, I switched my phone case, so I need to turn my like ringer off. But you guys, I put the Do You Guys Have Oat Milk case on, and it looks so cute. This is just like totally me. I'll have the case linked for you guys and the other ones with my discount code from Case to Buy. But I just thought that the neutrals would go good with the outfit. So yeah, this is the full fit and I'm ready for some toast, some coffee. I'm feeling good today. <laughs> I am just so happy that I'm feeling better. You guys don't understand, like I feel amazing today. But yeah, we're leaving so just had to show you the outfit. Today I got the breakfast crunch. This is like one of my favorite ones that they have. I just got back home and Toast Society was so good. I am literally obsessed with that place. I was there for kind of a while and I love all the girls that work there too. They're so nice. I always just like chat with them and yeah, I was sitting there for a while. I was working on making a reel or a TikTok. Posted on both is what I've usually been doing. But yeah, so I was there for kind of a while and I went down to the mailroom when I got back just because I kept getting notified that I had some packages and I have four packages. So we're going to open these. I honestly don't even know what all of them are. Ooh, this is from Smart Sweets and I'm so excited. They sent a bunch of candy over to me which is so nice like literally a ton of candy thank you for sending that i think they gave me a discount code to give to you guys too so that is very exciting i'll have it in the description box for you all this is a bigger package and i have no idea what is in here oh this is from aritzia and i ordered this for myself <laughs> I have too much Aritzia stuff. So I ordered some denim shorts and these are the a Goldie denim in um, like their lighter wash. It's called Jinx and I got these in a size at 24 but these are the D shorts and I didn't show you guys the last time I went to Aritzia with Caitlin I actually bought a pair of shorts or two. I'm gonna go grab it. I haven't been able to wear these yet because I got sick, but I had bought in another pair of a Goldie shorts and I got a different style. So I wanted to try on both and see which one I liked better, but they didn't have my size in the D. So I also bought this style and these ones are the Parker long shorts and these are in swap swap meet blue i think that's how you say it but i also got these in a 24. they're honestly really similar this one um is just kind of like a darker blue and then this one is a lighter wash and then these ones have like some rips right here in the front and then this pair has like some slits on the sides so I'm going to try them on and see which one I like better and maybe I'll keep both. But I just really needed some good denim shorts for summer, especially because it's so hot here and I don't have like a nice pair. So I got both of those and then I also ordered this cropped zip up and I got it in white just because I thought white would be fun for summer. So I got this cropped white zip and then to match it, I also got these white shorts and these are so cute. So I just got like a little comfy lounge set. So the shorts are the Cozy Boyfriend Basic 3 inch shorts and then the zip is the Cozy Boyfriend Boxy Zip. And I got the sweatshirt in an extra small and then the shorts in a small. I wanted it to fit a little bit looser just so that it wasn't like really tight, especially in the shorts. I didn't realize this was gonna be such a big Aritzia haul today. So many pieces. 
but I ordered this cropped tank and this is so stunning. I love the shape of it. Apparently it just like sucks you in and gives you some shape, but this is called the Sculpt Knit in matte pearl and i got this in a two extra small it's the babaton tank and the material of all of these is so good like the quality is just insane so yeah it's very exciting so many good pieces from aritzia and i'm gonna try all of it on later i don't think i'm gonna try on the shorts right now probably maybe do it this afternoon or tomorrow just getting to downtown Summerlin. This is not gonna stay. And Brandon's gonna take my picture for me, but I wanted to tell you something very exciting. So, th this is not working. Is that good? It's great right there. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, so Brandon and I well, mostly Brandon, made a playlist for you guys. And it's fire. It has so many good songs. We were talking about it last Saturday. We were sitting on the roof of our apartment, and we were just, like, talking about music and listening to a bunch of songs. And honestly, Brandon gives me all my music, and you guys always are asking for, like, song suggestions. And then every time I give a suggestion of a song, people are like, I need the playlist. Drop the playlist. So... There's no playlist. There's no playlist. <laughs> yeah, so I actually have one now. And... I'm going to put the link to it in the description of this video. You can just yes. search on Apple Music too. Oh really? Yeah. What is it under? B&H. <laughs> it's so good you guys. It's like rap, chill rap, and then... R&B. Jack Johnson in there. Okay, the one song that came on and I was like, wait, why'd you put I this like in it. here? I like it. It doesn't match the vibe. It does too. No, it doesn't. You have to have a little... But there is some songs from Thames on here that is so good. Try Me is my favorite song. Like, I've been having it on repeat. I knew you would like that. And who's that one guy? Lil Uzi. Uzi. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so good. Uzi's good. Yeah. Uzi's so, good. I'm very excited about this playlist. It's a 10 out of 10. You guys will love it, yeah. The cover photo, it's cute. It's, really it's a good photo. Yeah. I did good on the cover photo. I'm just so happy you made this. Thanks. <laughs> Peace and love. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's so good. All right, now go listen to it. What? Listen to it. Oh, yeah. We're going to take Instagram pictures. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, shit. <laughs> it's way bad. <laughs> Same color as your outfit. Yeah, this matches. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Drunk. <laughs> really had a lot to drink today. A latte. A latte. <laughs> I do not know why I'm laughing. Cause you're out of bed. I was dead last week. Ready? Yeah, we should go up there. It's like on the floor. Let's go. He's patiently waiting, <laughs> but Creightonboro has a new kitchen scent collection, and I like the packaging of all the bottles. I need to get some new dish soap, so I think I'm just going to get a dish soap and a hand soap, but they just look so modern and nice. Brandon's park job <laughs> really is so far away. Thank you. Brandon couldn't drive the Corvette because he accidentally got his key locked in the car and he had to have like a locksmith guy come and like try to pry open the window to unlock the car and the person broke his window. Just shattered the entire like passenger door window. So I can't drive the car now and we're driving my car. Her car today. Yep. But I don't like to be the driver. So we all know that. I ride passenger in my own car. <laughs> but yeah, we're just leaving Crate and Barrel. I got some 
hand soap and dish soap. And I got the grapefruit and jasmine scent. Then yeah, now we don't know what we're doing. Fancy. But I got a pick, so I'm happy. Well, you think it worked? What? You're good? Yeah. It was kind of taking a while to get it picked, not gonna lie. We got one. We did. We only tried like 17 spots. 35 locations. Yeah. <laughs> but Brandy was being so patient and nice about it. No problem. So, got one. No problem. And yeah, that's all my updates for now. What is this chick doing? Who? She was on the ground. You didn't see her? No. There's a lot of people here today. Probably because it's Saturday. Why is her AC just like not working right now? <laughs> Dying. Blast it. Let's turn on some music. Good evening, you guys. It's currently 7.44 and I'm going to dinner here pretty soon. The reservation is at 8.30, so I need to go find an outfit. I just did my makeup and I didn't do like a full makeup tonight, just something light with a lot of blush because I'm really into the blush look these days. But I wanted to fill you in on where I'm going and all that. My dinner reservation is at Vintner Grill and I love that restaurant here. It's super good. They have a lot of healthy like options. They have tons of different like seafood options like scallops, halibut, salmon, and then they also have like a beef tenderloin and good salad. So Lots of good food there. And Brandon and I are going to dinner tonight with my dad. And I wanted to fill you guys in on something which I don't really talk about that much. And I do just like want to open up a little bit because it's something that is really hard for me. And it's also hard for me to like keep a secret, I guess. Like I'm not trying to keep it a secret, but I just feel like I do want to mention it. But so my parents got divorced a couple of years ago which a lot of you know if you don't my dad usually is in washington he just bought a house here and is going to be here like it's his vacation home and then my mom lives in scottsdale and my parents got divorced like three or four years ago now and the one thing that has been really hard for me well the divorce alone was incredibly difficult for me just because I didn't know that my parents were having any problems like they were super good about hiding it and then all of a sudden they were getting divorced so it was incredibly shocking for me and to this day like it still makes me super sad if I'm being honest like I cry about it a lot and I just wish that I could do things at the same time with my parents like it makes me sad to think that like we can't ever be in the same room and like go do things all together like we did when I was growing up and don't get me wrong like I'm not trying to complain and say that like my life sucks or whatever because I am very blessed with parents that love me and support me and are there for me and I'm grateful that they're alive and that they're in my life and so I am just so lucky but all I'm trying to say is that like the divorce is still really hard and it does make me super sad and the one thing that has been especially hard for me is that my parents are both in new relationships and this isn't something that I talk about or like really try to show online but it's not that I'm like trying to hide it it's just like hard for me even to accept and I like both of the people that my parents are dating like they're really really nice but it's just hard to like accept them into my life and Brandon and I are going to dinner with my dad and his girlfriend and she's so sweet and like really nice it's just that like whenever I'm with my dad and her I'm like that's not my mom and then whenever I'm with my mom and her boyfriend I'm like it's not my dad and so it's just really hard for me i want them to be happy and i want them to move forward and you know be with new people and so i am really happy for them but at the same time it just is like i don't know difficult i guess so i just wanted to say that because it's something that i've been struggling with for quite a while and i don't talk about it just because it is really personal to me but like i just want you guys to know that like i go through really hard times too and if you go through divorce or like anything like that i know that it can be really tough and so i just wanted to share that for anyone who can like relate because it's definitely not easy and yeah i'm excited to go to dinner tonight but 
it's also just like I don't know hard for me I guess but yeah I just did my makeup and I'm about to go find an outfit I need to change pretty quick honestly because we're probably gonna leave in like 10 minutes so yeah that's my update for you i just picked out my outfit i think this is what i want to wear tonight it's this dress from princess polly and it ties around the waist and then on the arms you'll have to see when i put it on but i just love the material and it's really flowy and then i think i'm gonna do it with these boots i feel like that would look cute together so i'm gonna put it on and then i'll show you guys this is the dress and i love how girly it is and flowy i just feel like it looks really cute and classy the boots just tie it all together but i'm gonna use my little white bag i'm leaving now so i'm gonna head out and i will see you guys at dinner <laughs> sky looks pretty in that what the sky looks pretty in that camera oh yeah it's very blue i was like where up there <laughs> 